Hi, I'm John Musselman from Musselman Home Inspection and Just Maintenance. And on this channel, we like to help people understand their homes and how to best maintain them. Today, I want to talk to you about technology we can use with our sump pumps to manage, maintain, and monitor these areas. Let's get started. There's a couple different uh, manufacturers out there that make uh, some smart technology to manage or maintain our sump pumps or look over them. Today we chose to install a pump spy. And the pump spy is a plug-in option. Basically what you do is you plug it into the outlet that you plug your sump pump into. You connect it to the Wi-Fi in the house and then you download an app on your phone so that it can talk to one another. But the neat thing about this piece of technology is, is that one, it monitors how much our pump is operating, right? Whether it's turning on and turning off. It figures out whether we have power to our sump pump, like, hey, our power's off for some reason. And it also has a high limit switch for it as well. So, hey, our sump pump stops to operate and the water starts to rise in the pit. It has a float in here to, to let us know that and send us a notification to our phone so we can address it as soon as possible. So really cool piece of tech. Um, we're gonna put it in and see how it works. So let's get started. Box of the pump spy. First off, we have our directions, how to install it. We always wanna read through these because each application can be different as far as how you might need to do it. And it's always a good reference to figure out, hey, what does, what does the uh, manufacturer say about it? So there are the directions as far as what comes with the unit itself. Uh, but like I said, it's a plug-in operation, or a plug-in, and then also a high water switch. So, probably going to need a screwdriver, maybe a couple zip ties to make it happen. But really not uh, crazy as far as installation goes. So, it also has a screw so that you can actually fasten it so that it's secured properly in the sump pit. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is plug in the pump spy. So we wanna unplug our existing uh, sump pump at this house. They created a little contraption here to make sure that the plug doesn't come out, which is really cool because that uh, the last thing we wanna have happen is that the plug actually falls out when we don't want it to. So we'll make sure that we put that back on here. Save that for later. Okay, unplug the sump pump. Goes there, pump spy, gets plugged in, top one, okay. The actual plug that the pump spy or the pump plugs into, you see that it illuminates, so that's what we want to see. Um, it comes with a longer screw to fasten it in there so that this actually is secured to it, which is what we want. Um, we're going to put this back in place because it was here and I think it's a good idea. Slide that in. So we'll start by plugging in the Sump pump again, and then resecuring this so we're good to go. Having a screwdriver with multi tips helps, makes the job a little easier. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. So it's secure. One thing to think about as you're doing this process, you know, before you start, it's a good idea to test your sump pump, make sure that it's working. Um, one thing to know about sump pumps is that they generally last eight to 12 years, depending on usage. Another nice thing about this pump spy helps us understand how frequently our pump is actually running. You know, some of us are very in tune with how much it's operating and some of us aren't. When we don't know how much it runs, we don't know how much we're actually relying on it. By testing our sump pumps, it helps us to make sure that they're actually functioning too. So, uh, good idea to test it. We have another video that I will put in the link, uh, link below for you to watch on how to test your sump pump and backup system if you have one.
But now that we got this in, good stuff. So let's hook that up. Um, the next thing is, is installing the um, high limit water switch. All right, so the next piece to the installation is actually putting in this high limit uh, switch or the high water limit. So what we wanna do is make sure that this gets installed above where the sump pump would kick on so that if, hey, the sump pump's not working and the water is rising up, that this is notified before it comes out so that you get a notification prior to. Um, pretty simple. We just wanna use that screwdriver to remove the clamp or loosen the clamp. Good. It must be before I started the video, but it's always good to see what it actually takes to do these installations. All right. This sump pit right here is nice because it does have a backup and it's not just a battery backup, but it's actually a water driven backup. Neat systems to have, um, but just because we haven't doesn't mean that we don't need to test them. So um, like I said earlier, make sure you're testing your sump pits or your sump pumps, get in the habit of doing it um, on a regular basis, ideally quarterly but biannually at the, at the least. Again, we just wanna make sure that we have systems in place that actually function when we want them to function. All right, so we have to untangle the wire a little bit. We'll clean this up later on so that it looks nice and pretty. But let's just open this up so we can get it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put this on the same pipe that the sump pump's connected to itself. I'm gonna put it right above where the uh, water pump or where the uh, pump switch is located so that, hey, if it's over top of everything that we know what's happening. So let's stick this down inside of here. After we get it around the pipe itself, we have to tighten it up. These clamps can be fun to do sometimes. You can take them in as far as you can with your fingers. Careful because the metal can be sharp. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready for the screwdriver. Okay. Okay. All right. Before you snug it up, make sure that you have it in a good location. In this particular sump pit, there's a pipe coming in here on the left hand side. So it's not a great idea to have the, the switch over there in case water's coming in through that area. So I would keep it over away from anything else that might put water on here because we're not trying to have this go off uh, when we don't want it to. We're trying to have it uh, go off as an alert. So um, I'm also gonna lower it down so that it is right above the switch. So we keep it as low as we can keep it so we're notified as quickly as we can be. The other thing is, is make sure that this can float freely so that there's no wires that are gonna get wrapped around it or anything like that, because that's an important piece. You know, we want, again, we wanna make sure that this floats up as necessary. So now that I have it in the location that I want, snug it up. And we'll be good to go. All right, looks like it's good to go, nice and tight. We'll clean up the wire. Now that the switch is installed down below in the pit, now it's time to actually just hook it up to the pumps by itself. So we just untangle the wire. 
You can use zip ties or tape to kind of bring it up to the, pop, the top here, but for right now, we just want to get it installed. We'll tighten things up in a minute. Okay, comes up and in. And let's see. And then we clip it in in the bottom. Perfect. Okay, once we got the high limit switch installed and we have the wire connected coming up, all is good there. We got the uh, plug plugged in and the light itself here is amber, which means that it's ready to connect. Um, if you haven't done so yet, you want to download the app and the app store or the play store and it basically just walks you through on how to set up an account. One thing that I found challenging to do was actually, uh, it gives you the option if this is red, that it's it needs to get put into setup mode. And there's a little tiny hole right here that is um, how you connect or how you uh, program this to go into its setup mode. So one of the, you could take something very small, but I had to take a real fine piece of wire and hold a button in there for three seconds until it went into this mode. So let me go through the rest of the setup and we'll go from there. So that's how you install the pump spy. Once there, once you go through everything uh, in the app as far as setup goes, you know, connecting to the Wi-Fi, your light here will turn green. Once it's green, then it's connected or that's one thing that you can see to tell you that it's connected. And all the information will be on your app as far as plugging in the information pertaining to your pump itself. One thing that I would say is on the tag of your sump pump, it should have how large it is, whether it's a quarter horsepower, a half horsepower, three quarter horsepower, all that information gets plugged into the app so it can give you good information as far as how much gallons it's actually pumping, et cetera. So I hope that you found this video useful. It's really nice having great technology out there to help us all to manage and maintain our different systems throughout our house. And especially for people who travel or don't go in their basement or crawl space that much. This is a great piece of technology to keep us in touch with the pieces that can cause us lots of trouble. I hope you found it useful. Always like and subscri subscribe. And on this channel, we like to help people understand their homes and how to maintain them. See you next time, everyone.